Hi, John Morgan here with Bob's Marketing Greenhouses, and welcome to this week's episode of Bob's Live, our weekly show right here on the internet. So to get things started off this week, I have a couple of announcements. And the first one we've mentioned the past few weeks, and that is our spring color tour. It is going to be Saturday, April 27th at 3 p.m. here at our production facility in Mason, West Virginia. So I look forward to seeing you here. And the next announcement is one that I mentioned last week but didn't have a slide for. And that is our spring photo contest. Now, photos for the contest can be anything spring related, whether it's, you know, a beautiful dogwood tree in bloom, uh, you know, Easter lilies, anything like that that's spring related. Um, but the photos for the contest are going to be due on Sunday, May 5th. And we're going to judge them and assign a first, second, and third place winner, and they're going to get some really awesome prizes. So, all that you need to do to enter is send your photo to the email address ask at bobsmarket.com. Now that goes right into my inbox, so I'll get those. And be sure to include your name and your address, and if you would like, uh, add a little description of the photo too. And our final announcement today is about something that we have at our stores now. You know, the weather's warming up and it's starting to feel more like spring. And we finally have our ferns at our stores. Um, I know I've posted pictures of them online throughout the winter as they continued to grow. Uh, you know, they're one of the plants that has the longest crop time that we grow. We actually get them in in September as little tiny plants and transplant them and then transplant them again into a basket and grow them out to the big full-size ferns that you see in the stores. Now the price for the ferns this year is going to be $15.99 each. Now let's move along and take a look at what's happening at Bob's and you'll see some of those ferns in this week's update video.
All right, so that's what's happening right now at Bob's. I mean, literally right now. I just filmed that this morning. And before I move along to the weather, uh, I do have a little bit of a funny story. I was filming the little transplanting robot going, and it has a sensor on the front of the that if you break a certain line, it'll shut off the machine. And I just happened to get too close with my camera and I shut down the whole line, so, yep. Um, <laughs> anyhow, let's move along to the weather forecast for today. So, this is the precipitation forecast for the next 48 hours. Um, They've still got some rain highlighted for over us, but that rain's going to be moving out of our area. Uh, we're just going to be dealing, you know, with the spotty shower here and there heading into the weekend. And, you know, we had a little bit of a cool down today. Um, I'm actually showing 61 degrees right now outside. But you know what? This weekend is going to start warming back up. Uh, tomorrow we're looking at, again, a high of around 70. Uh, Sunday, we're going to be back up around 71. Then moving into Monday and Tuesday, we're going to get kind of in the same pattern that we were this week. It'll be really warm early in the week. Then we're going to have some thunderstorms move through and a cool down. So Monday and Tuesday, nice and warm. Wednesday, we're going to continue with the warm weather. And then on Thursday, we're going to see those showers and thunderstorms as the next front moves through. And looking at the long-term temperature forecast, you know, that's really important as far as, as gardening goes. Um, we are looking at a possible frost coming up around the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Uh, the temperatures are going to drop down after this next warm period. Uh, so we'll run the chance of a frost, and I'll try to catch it ahead of time and send out an alert uh, email. So if you're on our mailing list, uh, keep an eye out for those uh, frost warnings. And moving on to the allergy forecast, you know, right now tree pollen is, wow, it's, it's out there. Um, I was driving through Middleport yesterday, and all those trees blooming. Oh, wow. But you know what? Right now where we had the rain last night, it kind of helped clean out the air. So we're at a 5.4 on the allergy scale right now, which is kind of in the medium range. Now this weekend, as things start to dry out, we're going to inch back up into the higher levels. So we're going to be up around a 10.4. And of course, right now, the main culprit is tree pollen. So looking here at the map, the tree pollen levels are definitely on the rise in our area. And it should be peaking here in the next week to two weeks. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then right as it peaks, then we start moving in to grass pollen and worrying about that. So let's take a look now at the Gardener's Almanac. And right now, today and tomorrow, is a perfect time to be planting above, above ground crops. Uh, so it's an excellent time for starting seeds, uh, whether you're starting them indoors or in a hotbed outside, things like tomatoes and peppers. Now is the time to do that, uh, so they'll be just the right size to transplant in the garden uh, whenever the garden soil dries out and warms up later on in May. Uh, the 14th through the 16th, those are going to be poor planting days. Not a great time to do planting then. And the 17th and 18th, again, it's going to be a great time for above ground crops. And well, that finishes up our show for this week. It was kind of short and sweet. Uh, but I'll definitely see you back here next week at 4 p.m. So have a great week.